I know I how was your experience with COVID? You guys, honestly, it's, you guys, some peace of mind. Like, as a mom, when my kids got it, I was freaking out. I was on YouTube. I was on Google. I was sending emails to their doctors, like, going crazy, right? Obviously, like, yeah, because I said, you're going through it. You're going to have to experience it. But I just wanted to get more information, like, symptoms, what to look out for and stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, um, it really wasn't bad. But... Needless to say, I know everybody has different experiences, so I don't want to downplay it either. We got definitely, definitely lucky, so. Yeah. Blanca J's mammies. I haven't seen her in so You know what's so funny? She lives probably like 45 minutes from me, and she literally is <laughs> just out and about. And we just never see each other. Like, we planned to go on brunch and stuff. But, obviously, we're both, like, super busy. I think that's what happens. But we text, you know? I have a serious question. Yes, Brandon. <laughs> Did you get Delta? No, I don't. Well, I don't know if you can get tested for the variant that you get from COVID. But I think I just got the normal one. I didn't know how you felt about Joe Biden. <laughs> I'm gonna block you. Shouldn't you be working? Will you be adding more plus size clothes in your shop? Um, so the the biggest size that I add to my shop is extra large is the wholesalers offer it. If not, you specifically have to buy plus size um obviously from the vendors but the problem is every time that i have brought like larger sizes like they don't do very well and as a business you have to do what sells you know which kind of sucks but there are a lot of boutiques that specialize in just plus sizes which i don't know i don't know i don't know how they're doing But I would have, I think I would have a hard time finding like models and stuff like that. But I would love to, like if it was like something that actually sold. And the thing is like they do sell, but not that good. And obviously you don't want to be stuck with inventory and stuff, you know. So that's from a business standpoint, that's the only reason why I don't really bring a lot of focus to plus. If an item um, comes in extra large, then I will get it. You know, I'll try my best to get a few of those at least. But if they don't, I don't like specifically, you know, go and buy just um, plus size. Mm. I was supposed to put on YouTube that I was going live. Because I don't know if people like from YouTube are like, where is this bitch at? Are you okay? Come come. Mmm. Oh, what time is your guys' lunch over? You guys, I feel like I've been eating and eating and look. <laughs> I haven't even made a dent. I love to model for your clothes. I love it. Okay. Oh, my God. She's my time. <laughs> okay. It's not necessarily she's me, but I want to vent to you guys. So, if you guys are on live, all 165 of you. If you or someone you know has been, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so you guys know how I relaunched my boutique. Um, well, this time around, I was like, I'm gonna give smaller, not influencers, but just regular schmegler people, um, that just like fashion, like like taking pictures, have cute OOTDs like on their feet or what have you. Like, I'm gonna give them a chance. I'm gonna send them PR, and just let them do their thing. You know but it didn't work out you guys i don't i think i launched or relaunched maybe like two months ago and i sent out a lot of pr packages like a lot of packages a lot of free clothes and maybe it was my fault because i didn't tell them like hey this is a pr package in exchange for this clothes um you should post a picture like as soon as you can obviously not like the next day but like within like a, a appropriate time frame like you know 
um make sure that it's like in good lighting a cute little background like it's aesthetically pleasing like i didn't do any of that i just again i just kind of gave them their shot because i remember when i first got my first pr package ever it was from ootd fash and you guys i tried my best like i did a whole youtube video i took pictures outside made sure that they were cute blah 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 you know so that they could repost um but yeah like 95 percent i want to say no maybe maybe like 98 percent of the girls that I sent close to, <clears throat> two, two posted, and the rest, maybe like three or four, posted, but their pictures were, I wasn't able to repost them on my feed, which is essentially what I sent PR for, because I, okay, okay, so I obviously own a boutique, right, I have my own personal Instagram, and then I have my boutique's Instagram, so I model for my boutique, and then for me to take pictures, like, it's just a lot of me on my feed, and I don't want that, like, <laughs> I want my clothes to be out and about, you know, in these pictures, um, but not just me doing that, so the reason that gets complicated is because when I do that, I try to post for my IG, and then for the boutique's Instagram, and then it's like, they couldn't get repetitive. I can't change into 5,000 outfits in one day. You guys know what I'm saying? But yes, but yeah, that's what I was saying. So that was a little disappointing. Some of the girls now, if they were to post, the clothes that they got was from the relaunch. Summer. Even if they were to repost, like, that, some of the stuff is already on sale. Like, yeah, ni vale la pena. Do you guys know what I mean? I totally ignored all of you guys. <clears throat> That's sad. I would love to model clothes. Yeah, so that, that's what I was assuming. That's what I was thinking. And that's kind of why I took a chance on like smaller influencers or just people that have... Because there's so many people that aren't even influencers that... I hate that word. That don't even do social media. Um, but take bomb-ass pictures in their outfits. They go to bailes. They just look cute at dinner. You know, stuff like that. So that's who, what I was going for, you know? When I took that chance and obviously... Um, it didn't work out because they didn't post, obviously it's been months since. And so I'm just like, now what, now what do I do? And obviously I have no problem play, paying for posts or sponsorships and stuff like that. But I wanted to just give them the opportunity of just getting the free clothes to take a cute picture and then that I could repost. That was literally it. Like, I wasn't like, can you post at this time and this location or anything i just kind of let them do what they want and i think that's what like kind of backfired i just assumed like if you're getting a pr package like that that's what you would do but you know you know what they say about people that assume mm. also it could have been that these people were from twitter not that's fucked up because it's twitter but like, it wasn't like my Instagram followers. It was um, Twitter. But that one was on fucking Twitter. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Like, I appreciate at least for sure the people that did wear the clothes. Even if the pictures weren't, like, I wasn't able to repost. Like, I totally could, but it just didn't go with the feed. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. Like, I don't really be fucked up and be like, their picture wasn't cute. No, it wasn't that. It was just literally, literally the backdrop background or what you know stuff like that miss fam with you on that sis excuse me <laughs> did i miss the top half of your message oh i mean now that you're here i had a question miss fab also um she has miss fab beauty lashes um i she had one of my all-time favorites and i for the life of me cannot remember what they're called and i was literally gonna dm you to ask you i know you have my order history um of which ones they were because i love them so this one and um for miss five beauty lashes those two lashes are my favorite like smaller business lashes um you guys should definitely go check them out 